Welcome to our demo of The Surge 2. My name is Adam Hattani. I'm the head of game design at Deck 13, and we are quite excited to show you what we have been working on. Copy that. So we start here in Jericho City. This is the setting of The Surge 2. It's a city under quarantine. Bulldog. Rather dangerous. Oh, yeah, okay. So the quarantine in Jericho was instituted by this group here, the AID. They're the ones maintaining the no-fly zone. They've put in all of these scattered gates through the city, these checkpoints to stop the flow of people. They're trying to figure out and uh, slow down the spread of a techno virus in the city. And we're not going to listen to them. We're going to go right through the scanner gate and see what happens. And the frontal assault here did not work out very well for us. We are dead. So we will have to try an alternate approach. And this is something that we have really uh, worked hard to build into the Surge 2. There's lots and lots of alternate routes, secrets you can discover, uh, shortcuts, uh, and this kind of thing. Different ways for you to solve these challenges that you're going to come across in Jericho City and the surrounding areas. Checkpoint, not so good. We're going to try going this way in a side alley. Look at that. The friendly looking guy. Go talk to him for a minute. One of many NPCs you'll be able to meet in Jericho City. The way that you uh, interact with them is really up to you. Whether you want to help them out with the things they need, whether you suspect they're leading you into a trap, something like that. Uh, you know, whether you just want to kill them for their stuff. These are options that are always open to you. They will carry consequences, of course. But these are your choices. Your way to play. Just a moment ago, they shot down secret delivery drone right outside office. Even if soldiers don't find it in time, those damn scavengers will. You'll have to be sneaky. But if you pull off, little heist, I let you use med station on wall for free. Good deal, da? Okay, so we're going to try to help out the good Dr. Alexi here. Try to find his crashed a quote unquote medical drone. Don't do anything. Forget it. And here you can see some other survivors in Jericho City. These guys are scavengers. They're not quite so friendly as the good doctor. They've created their tech out of uh, scavenged hey, you know, see. car door here, industrial machinery, but they've all used it um, uh, with their exo rig, which is what we use as well, so we can be strong and fast. Now we're here targeting a body part on this enemy, targeting his arm. We build up enough energy, do some damage, and then we can chop that arm right off. This is how you get new equipment in the Surge 2, new weapons, new crafting schematics. You see, we just learned a new armor piece. That's the very same armor that uh, that scavenger was wearing. We can make that for ourselves if we were to return to a med bay. He got away from us there. Chop his head off. You can see we've picked up another uh, crafting schematic as well as an implant. This is how you specialize your character in a lot of different ways. We throw that guy to his doom. Always an option as well. Now here you can see some of the structures that the AID have slammed down into Jericho City. All over the existing architecture. Uh, behind there is a giant wall. This is how they have instituted the quarantine and uh, above us is this huge nanotechnological spike thing that's growing in the city. It's the source of the technovirus. Very dangerous. And here's one of our robotic enemies. Damage detected. We're able to chop limbs off of our robots as well and get new equipment. In this case, we got a twin-rigged weapon, the electrical taser grips that were the articulated flexi arms of that AID hovering unit. Let me try these out for a minute. And here we find a mag lock. We can break this using uh, one of our combat drone modules. You can see docked on our back here is our flexible combat drone. You can attach all sorts of different ranged weapons to this, use it in combat as you wish and trigger the drone while you're doing anything else, uh, which gives you tons and tons of flexibility. And you can use the EMP starfish here to uh, break magnetic locks, to overload electronics, and you can even use it to electrify and stun enemies. Uh, there must be something wrong with the power supply. We also use our uh, biosensor. 
is a consumable item, so we can watch the enemy as he passes through uh, this area to investigate. The enemies have more advanced AI in the surge too, so because we disabled the gate here, he comes to check it out. I'm gonna try to take him out before he can call for help. Do another finishing sequence here, chop off the arm. We've picked up another of our combat drone weapons. This one is a uh, high caliber sniper rifle and also a new hammer weapon. So this is something you're gonna do a lot in the Surge too. You're gonna fight enemies, you're gonna chop off body parts, and then you're going to use what you get to make yourself stronger, faster, more powerful, better equipped. So now that we've cleared through the scanner gate area, we're on the other side. We can go check out what's up here. Now there's our crashed drone down below. We can drop down there in a minute. And here you can see our new online feature, one of our several new online features. Players are able to craft these uh, graffiti messages and place them in the world using a spray can attached to their drone. You can leave messages for other players, uh, you know, friendly things like, hey, look, there's loot over here, or, oh no, a dangerous sniper like this guy. We just used our sniper rifle drone module to kill this uh, AID operative, came to try to stop us. No such luck. Superhero landing, and now we're able to get the uh, crash drone that Dr. Alexi needs. What is that slamming? Oh man. A very dangerous foe has appeared. It's one of our many boss encounters in the search too. See, it's a, a giant nanotechnological construct. Some rudimentary sentience, animal-like instinct. Very dangerous. It's able to grow giant weaponry on its arms, but like the enemies that we've been fighting, you can also target body parts on uh, bosses. So all the enemies you fight, you're targeting body parts, chopping them off, and the bosses you fight will also have these body parts. In this case, you can see he's got some armored uh, legs, arms, and he's able to grow this, uh, this weaponry. So if we destroy it like so, we're able to create a weak point for ourselves. So uh, when the armor is broken, we can do a lot more damage to that spot if we keep, keep pounding on it. We can switch to a different spot, break that as well, make it easier for us to uh, press the advantage, do more damage. In the meantime, the boss here has uh, regrown his giant smashy arm, so we just need to hang on, avoid his slam attacks, push the advantage. We shall achieve victory. We just did a directional parry here. This is one of our new systems as well. We were able to take a high-risk maneuver, knock his attack back the way he came, and we can even stagger huge bosses this way. Victory is ours. We uh, hope that you play the game, hope you enjoy it, and uh, see you next time. Thank you.